Hey guys, how's it going? So today I am going to the University of Irvine. Not just saying, why, why, why are you going there? Are you, are you going back to school? I'm definitely not going back to school, but I am going to check out their esports arena. Now esports is a thing. Can you guys believe that? That, that esports, people playing competitive video games is a thing? That's a career path? Of course you believe it because you're living it. You see it every day. There's a chance that you know somebody, a friend of yours who's playing competitive. You probably watch people who play competitive video games. You might actually be one of those people who are competing competitively and I think it is it's beautiful. It really is. And, and I'm not saying this being sarcastic because the first time that I didn't think that esports was a thing was 17 years ago. I did the math and, and I'm Oh gosh, that's probably longer than some of you have been alive. But I was in high school and we would go to LAN parties, mostly because the internet really wasn't that good back then. So being able to play multiplayer games, that was the only way to do it. You had to bring computers to one person's house or go to a cyber cafe where they had really good internet to be able to play multiplayer games. And back then I was playing Unreal Tournament, Quake 3. I was never really that into Counter-Strike. Now I didn't play Counter-Strike, but one of our friends did. His name was Casey and I will never forget one weekend Casey was not at our LAN party and I was so confused because Casey was always there. He was actually competing competitively in a Counter-Strike tournament and I could not believe it. I was like, wait, so there's a, a bigger LAN party? So there's not just eight or 10 of us all in a room? There's hundreds of people competing. It was it was probably like trying to explain to your parents now that esports is a thing, but then you know it, it wasn't a thing. I mean, it was, but not to the level that it is today. I mean, more people are watching League of Legends tournaments than real traditional sports. And I'm putting that in quotes because I believe that esports and playing video games is just as competitive as playing actual real sports. And people don't understand that. And that is something that I think is just so crazy because when you're watching super intense games. Now I come from most of a Call of Duty background. I've hosted a bunch of the Call of Duty events in the past and it is so much fun even for people who don't understand what's going on. If you have incredible commentators, people who are really trying to pull that game together to make it understandable for everyone, it is so much fun to watch. And I am just, I'm going off on a tangent and I'm late because I gotta go, I gotta get on the road. I am going to the University of Irvine today, which is why this whole conversation even started. I'm just so excited. You better turn up You better be there when I shake Watch me rockin' if I can't stop Esports Arena is actually part of the esports initiative that we've done over at UCI, and it has multiple pillars. Some of that is competitive gaming. We have our own scholarship teams, especially in League of Legends. And then, as you can see behind me, we have the UCI Esports uh, Stream Corner, so um, you can learn entertainment, social media, build and market your own brands. And then over here is Console Corner, so that's like our Smash, um, a lot of our fighting games, stuff like that. But it's multifaceted, so it's not just learning esports. We do have an amazing computer science program. It's bigger than that. Uh, you get to compete. You get to interact as a student on campus. This is like the coolest thing ever. So do you want to introduce yourself to, to my internet friends? Hey guys, I'm Giga Snail. What's your What's your major? So I am a philosophy, political science, and economics major. And what's your game of choice, most importantly? Uh, Overwatch, and uh, I'm definitely gonna Bastion main. Is there a GameCube over here? <laughs> Yeah, so what are the... <laughs> this is what... Uh, this right here. This is why I almost failed college. GameCube, Mario Kart. We basically spent like three weeks playing nonstop. Didn't go to school, didn't do anything. But now you guys have it here that you can actually play as a part of going to school. In Console Corner, we have like tons of different consoles. So a lot of the Smash team will bring, you know, their own Wiis or their own you know, GameCubes or whatever they want to play on just so that they can practice. And then we offer different consoles as well, Xboxes and PS4s and anything people want to get their hands on. Oh my God, this is incredible. I mean, this is, this is the future here. So all of our scholarship players, they can come in before and after hours if they need to. Um, they can come in in between classes and they get to be on their own dedicated computers. So they have a scholarship program for League of Legends. That's, yeah. that's what you're telling me. Yeah. That's so awesome. So they get to they get their school paid for to come play for us. So it's not like you're playing video games for fun. I mean, this actually ends up turning into sort of a job and a career, and you're playing for a completely different reason. Basically to be the best. Yeah, absolutely. No, this is the start 
um, college is the place where you go to prepare for your career. And I think the great thing that UCI has recognized is that esports is a huge, huge future part of these people's lives, and they want to prepare them for that career. I love it. And look at this. These, this is, this is it. Yeah. Wow. Alex, hello. So we were just chatting to some like, students here at UCI, and and we're both. Well, we're definitely older than them, and this is something that did not exist back in our day going to school. <laughs> no, I'm actually glad it didn't exist, because I would never have graduated college. <laughs> but you would have, because this basically, I mean, you go to class, and then you come here and play games, and then it, it just all works out. Yes, and by the way, look, you can see they actually have, like, a stadium that's, like, where the, the people play, and they are competitive. Like, college esports is, like, legit a thing. I was talking to Paul, and he gave me a quick little tour. And, I mean, these kids actually have scholarships. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. League of Legends scholarships. So, hey, guys, you know what? Tell your parents. This is where you need to go. You're not wasting time. Tell your folks. You're yes. learning how to get free college. Oh, I love it. This is so cool. So what games have you been playing? Uh, a lot of Overwatch, a lot of Diablo 3. Season 10 just came out. I was so obsessed with Diablo 3 like years ago. That it's so much better. Really? No, they fixed everything that you thought was wrong with it when it first came out is so much better. It is addictive. So are you saying I should go back to Diablo 3? Yes, I am. Oh my Stat. goodness. Stat. One of my characters has 200 <laughs> hours of game time. One of my characters. Is that from recently or from previously? Uh, it's, a, it's a cumulative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But it took me a day and a half to get 70 in season 10. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, you gotta come back, it's great. Okay, good, because... Yeah. And they're going to come out with the Necromancer soon. I basically have not put down my Nintendo Switch. Like, I was going to bring it with me, but <laughs> I was like, I'm not going to be able to play it and drive. So, yeah, this should be really fun. But, yeah, oh, my gosh. <gasps> Diablo 3. Oh, my goodness. I'm having flashbacks. I mean, this was a while ago. Like, no, when it first so came out. I know, I know. And they fixed so much stuff. Like, yeah. the loot system is so much better. It's crazy. Just try it. You'll, you'll thank me. Okay, perfect. <laughs> have you played any Switch yet? Did you get a Switch? I haven't gotten a Switch because I get these. I get, like, I have an Xbox One. Yeah. I have a PS4, I have a Wii, I didn't get the Wii U, I never play them. Mm. I play Diablo 3, World of Warcraft, Overwatch, Heroes of the Storm, and then whatever new computer game that's out. But let me tell you, man, the Switch is so great. I know, it's everybody so great. says that, everybody yeah. says that. I think I might have to get one. I think you're gonna have to, honestly, and Zelda is such an incredible game that it, uh, I'm speechless. You guys already know how much I played it. Plus, I have a Tesla. <gasps> so I gotta find something to do while it's driving me places. That's true. <laughs> That's not safe. Not yet, but not it's some, yet. It's soon. It's yeah, gonna get yeah, software yeah, yeah. updates. Mm -hmm. It'll be like, I can use the Switch now. <laughs> well, that's it. Thanks for hanging out in my vlog. <laughs> I just got home two minutes ago from Irvine. So before I left, I was like, I'm gonna be hungry by the time I get home. So I basically ordered Postmates from the car. And now I have another visitor? Jenna, I was just making a video. So what happened is I ordered Postmates from the car so that by the time I got home, it would be here and ready and waiting. What'd you get me? Here, look, I have bruschetta. You know what? What? I can't tell if I'm car sick or like not feeling well. Is this mine or is this short? Fine. I think I have the same jacket. Yeah, you do. Anyway, it was so much fun. And what I said to these guys, both Jenna and I both went to school. Jenna went to school a lot longer than I went to school. One of the things that I learned by going to school, not only did I learn the things that I'm interested in. You, what did you go to school for, Jen? Let's talk about it. <laughs> I double majored in forensic biology and biology. So I have two um, bachelor degrees and That's a minor. Speech pathology and audiology, baby. What do you know? So I went to school for multimedia, technology, graphic design, video production, basically everything that I'm doing right now. But one of the things that I feel like people think that you have to go to school to learn these things. You don't. But what I did learn in school was working with people, meeting people, having life experiences, and making some really good friends. And now my dog is just over there He's crunching. Right. <laughs> He's hungry. Me too, baby. But what you do with what you learn and the people and the friends and the connections that you make in school, what you do with that after is what's so important. And I'm so excited for the future of esports. Like, I just... 
I can't wait until more schools embrace it, parents embrace it, because there is a future here and we're living in it right now. So parents, if you're watching this and your kid is super into video games, encourage them to keep going with that passion. They can be a video game designer. They can actually get a scholarship now to play video games in college. I love the life that we are currently living in right now. It's incredible. I'm gonna eat my salad and I'll see you guys later. So, wow. Peace out. Oh God, I almost lost my meal. <laughs>